Cheers. <laughs> Okay, y'all know how it, this thing goes. I gotta get the cover photo. So that's why it always looks so <laughs> like that in the beginning. But hey everybody, tonight is a later night than usual. I'm like in my pajamas and it is 6, 12 p.m. on a Friday. Living my best life. <laughs> no. I really do love it. I have a wedding to go to, and it's like an early wedding, really far away. So, you know, I gotta get my beauty sleep. So, actually, I think I may go live before so y'all can check out all the glam. And, and I don't know how the rest of the day is gonna unfold, so I wanna make sure I, I chat with y'all beforehand. So, day 23 like is that my jordan day is today my jordan day day 23 yes 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 <sighs> today's friday so happy friday everybody and a big happy friday to everybody who is officially on thanksgiving break <laughs> let's really you know restore ourselves heavy on the self-care just you know doing things that bring us joy peace tranquility and all the wonderful productive things as well so there's that so today my goal was to drink a full gallon of water i have drank is that proper english i don't know i've drunken i don't know whatever a half gallon of water um, one of these, like a full one of these, but this was the actual sunrise, not the green juice, which I'm going to take a sip real quick. Because I really want to go to bed in like two, two and a half hours. I don't know that how that's going to work. I may have to stay up a little longer. Um, because then I'll just be going all night. But I want to make sure that I, I get as much fluids in as possible because my skin has been breaking out. Yeah. So if y'all have been following me since the beginning, all of a week ago <laughs> or whatever, um, I talk about my acne and my hormone imbalance, which was a big reason why I wanted to do this cleanse, just, you know, to restart my whole system and get everything back in a healed, healthy space. So, hmm, I've had clear skin for a while, for about, I don't know, 12, 13 years. And last year, my skin started breaking out, like maybe the top of this year. And I thought it was because of the keto diet that I was on, it was like heavy and fat. I felt like it clogged my pores. That mixed with being a teacher, having to wear my mask all day, mask knee is a thing too, and just poor diet. All of that manifested in my skin. So I have some residual scarring. You all can see on that side and scarring on that side. So this this patch was like um, bigger like cystic acne and it's like flattened out, but the scarring is still like super dark and that is not cute. So anybody watching, if y'all have like natural remedies to like even out skin discoloration or like heal acne scarring that that like are potent and really work, please let me know because chemical peels are just expensive and then you go through that ugly phase of your skin peeling off and if I can avoid having to get a chemical peel, um, then I would love that. 
but outside of the scarring, my my actual skin is looking brighter, which is great. Um, no makeup. Uh, yeah, so my skin is looking brighter. And I think I mentioned this in a previous video, maybe a few days ago or yesterday. When you're on a cleanse, and I'm so glad I found this out. I swear, every day I'm learning more about cleanses and how and what it does for your body. And um, it's just been super informative. So the what I knew at day zero or day one, I know so much more now. So I'm able to pass that along to you all, um, which is gonna be super beneficial if you're thinking about um, doing this for yourself or doing it again or if you're on it or whatever so when you're going through a cleanse your body is emptying or like detoxing the fat cells and your fat cells like have memory so to speak so if you were sick while you were gaining weight or you're you know, your fat cells were splitting and things like that, that those toxins and things are still in those cells. So when you're flushing your system out and going through something like this with the cleanse, it's like emptying out the storage that were in the cells. And that, it, a lot of that is toxic waste, you know? So you may feel the symptoms of what you were experiencing when you were gaining weight again and I've noticed over the past week this is my you know my 23rd day over the past week I've been having like a lot of mucus and I know like mucus um like covers up the bacteria or the virus or the the toxins from like being able to spread and things so I know there's a lot of you know toxic waste that's like going through my system that my body is trying to expel and I think it's like coming out in my acne too because I have some like new breakouts as well you can see this one right here I think I have one right there um one right here and I don't know, somewhere else. But I'm like, I think that has something to do with it. So that's why I wanted to be more vigilant um, starting today with increasing my water because I thought it was just good enough to get a high juice intake. But I really need that extra water to flush everything out and make sure that it doesn't like stay with stay in my system because then it'll try to escape in in like acne form and things like that and that I'm trying to heal my acne not you know make more of it so hopefully with that adjustment increasing my water intake it'll keep everything like flowing out versus staying in yes so what else is going on oh yeah I told y'all a while ago no I've only been talking to y'all for like two weeks, but a few days ago, I told you all how I went to Whole Foods and then the green juice was on sale and it was wonderful. Then I got a prime discount and it was great, but it's, it wasn't on sale today. So I was like, dang, I just wasted a trip. So I went back to Arden's Garden and got the Old Faithful, which is the multi-green. I really love this one. This one is so straightforward. You're gonna taste, I mean, pretty much you taste celery in this, which is great because celery is go so great for just detoxing and, and healing the digestive system and things like that. So I don't, I like how it doesn't have any sweetness in it because the green energy machine, it, the green energy machine has apple in it, but it just does not taste good. 
So never buying that again. And I bought it, when I bought it, I bought four of them, four half gallons, because I just was like, oh, it has sugar in it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a better version of, of, of the multigrain. And so hard to drink. I was like, I would have rather drank straight vegetable, green vegetables, than deal with that. That was so off-putting, never again. So, I like this. This has um, so many great things. Cucumber, celery, and you can kind of taste the cucumber too. Cucumber and celery for sure. Um, spinach, kale, and ginger. And this one, hold on. Because I'm trying to figure out what is the difference. Cucumber, celery. Mmm. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay, Arden's Garden. You put the wrong label on this. Y'all. They put, because I was like, this doesn't have apple juice in it. Ooh, I'm telling. Y'all, look. Okay, I want you to see this. Green energy machine, multi-green, right? See? Okay, now, flipping it over to the back. These have the same labels on them. I'm going to zoom in. Even though it won't zoom, you can still kind of see. You see where it says sugar, nine grams? Now look at this one. Same ingredients, same sugar, nine grams. That's not true. That's not true. There's no apple juice in the multigrain. Arden's Garden. Mm, 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 mm. That's wrong. Okay. Because I wanted... Ugh, that defeats the purpose of what I was trying to do. But the show must go on. All right. So... Also, I really like this drink, and I believe the label is correct. This is called Hot Shot, and it's so sweet. Um, but it also has that like kick of ginger, but it's not like, y'all know ginger is like really hard to drink by itself. But when you mix it with something sweet, it just gives just a little, mm, but it's not anything, you know, too overpowering it's just just the right amount so this has pineapple juice lemons cranberry and ginger and i love cranberries and so it's really sweet and i do this because with the multi-green there is no sugar in it i think maybe there's one gram but so the hot shot is good because it gives the added sugar to like you know keep my blood sugar stabilized and things like Yes, so how am I feeling, how am I feeling? I'm feeling good today. I told one of my friends, like, sh I told her when I first started, but I don't think she knew I would like keep going and she was so nervous. I wonder, drop in the comments if you've gone on a cleanse and people started freaking out. Um, she was like, Brianna, I just don't know if that's healthy. I just want you to be okay. I'm like, girl. This is about the healthiest thing I can do. It was not healthy eating lemon pepper wings and Parmesan french fries. <laughs> okay, no, 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 don't go there. Um, yeah, so I went over some of, you know, the health benefits, why I need to do this and why I'm doing this and things like that. Um, but I, I have been keeping this on the low. That's why I, had, I made a separate page for, or a separate, channel however you're watching this for my juice cleanse because I this is like really sacred and special and really healing and um it's a huge like growth experience for me so I want to make sure like I don't have a lot of cluttered opinions coming in or anything like that that you know could just take my mind off of, from you know the goal so there's that so anyway 
If you've been watching this whole time, thank you so much for tuning in. I really want you to engage with me. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to hear me talk about anything specific. Um, a little bit about me. I'm, I'm Brianna. I'm a single mom. I'm a theater teacher. I, I'm living in Atlanta, Georgia. You hear it in my accent. Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and life is good over here. I'm a Gemini. If, and uh, if anybody you know is keeping track of that kind of thing. Um, a Gemini sun. I have a lot of cancer and a lot of Gemini mostly in my chart if you know astrology is your thing um and you know just elevating loving and living and loving and living and wash and rinse and repeat <laughs> okay so anyway i hope y'all are having a great day wherever you are whatever time it is um thank you so much for your support and watching and let's see where this journey takes me all right bye y'all <laughs>